Yo, what's up, people? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Tiario, and I am back, y'all, with another video and also another eye-opening message. And in this message, I'm going to be talking about making it out the walk with God. Making it out of the walk with God. A lot of you people have never even heard a message like this before. It's called making it out of the walk with God. Now, you people may say, Tiario, what in the hell do you mean when you say making it out of the walk with God? Understand this, please. Understand this before you start assuming things and start thinking things and all of this stuff. Just listen. Hear me out. Because it's all going to make sense to you. Making it out the walk with God is not something bad. It's something good and it's something beautiful. Jesus Christ was, was talking to me about this the other day. And he and I'm going to tell you all what he told me. Jesus said, Tiario, I want my followers and my people to make it out of the walk with God. He said he want his people to make it out. And when Jesus explained it to me, he broke it down to me. Okay, he just broke it down to me. Jesus said, Tiario, I want my people to make it out the walk with God. Okay, and this is a good thing, not a bad thing. It's a good thing. So for all of you people, you may say, Tiario, what in the hell do you mean making it out the walk with God? Are you saying, Tiario, that God don't want us to walk with him no more? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. When I say making it out of the walk with God, understand this. I'm talking about making it out of the worries, making it out of the stress, making it out of all of the demonic attacks of Satan, making it out all of the foolishness that you go through in your walk with God. Because see, you got to understand this, folks, and I'm going to say it because, see, a lot of you people who are listening to this message, you're not honest. See, and, 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 and by you not being honest, this is why you will never make it out to walk with God. Now, understand this. Let's keep it all the way real. I already know a lot of people are not honest, so I have to be the only honest one around here. Let's keep it all the way real, y'all. The walk with God is not peaches and cream. Let's keep it real. The walk with God is not peaches and cream. Let's keep it real. The walk with God is not something you smile about. Okay, let's keep it real. You got to understand something. When you're walking with God, you are dealing with demons. You are dealing with the kingdom of darkness that's going to attack you. you. You are dealing with Satan himself. You are dealing with haters. You're dealing with religious folks. You're dealing with Bible debaters. You're dealing with evil, hateful, pagan Christians. And now you're even dealing with evil Israelites. Okay, you're dealing with so much. Then here it is. You got stuff going on in your own life. God is testing you. Your mind is spinning. The walk with God can become really stressful. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, man. The walk with God can really become stressful. It can drive you crazy if you're not strong enough. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. The walk with God can drive you crazy if you're not strong enough. And I'm just going to be honest. A lot of you folks who are listening to this, the walk with God have already drove you crazy. That's why you need to listen to this message. This is why your mind is so gone. You're so messed up in your spirit, in your heart, and in, in your brain cells. Because the walk with God have already driven you crazy. But, but Jesus has the answer. Jesus told me personally, and he told me to tell you, that he wants you to make it out of all of that. He wants you to make it out of all of that. I'm going to give you folks some Bible examples because all of this is already in the Bible. But the problem is with you folks is that you folks don't know the stories because you folks don't study to show yourselves approved. And for you folks who are studying, you don't believe it. So a lot of you folks, you already know these stories, but you still don't believe it. It's like you're reading the Bible for nothing. You have to believe this stuff. What's the purpose of you reading the stories if you don't believe them? So you got to believe. Now, let me hit you all with this first story. The promised land with the Israelites and Moses. The promised land with the Israelites and Moses. What was that promised land all about? 
God was trying to get these psychopathic Israelites to the promised land because God was trying to help them make it out. That's what that was about. God was trying to hear, hear me clearly. God was trying to help those psychopathic Israelites make it to the promised land because God was trying to help them make it out. Making it out the walk with God. Meaning they don't have to stress no more. They don't have to worry no more. They don't have to go through attacks no more. They don't have to work for Pharaoh no more. They don't have to deal with the devil anymore. God was trying to help them make it out. That's why he promised them the promised land flowing with milk and honey. So where they don't have to worry about anything anymore. They can live the rest of their lives stress free and peaceful and happiness. But, but hear me clearly, but. The Israelites, stubborn people, psychopaths, crazy debaters, they messed it up for themselves. They attacked Moses, which was the most stupidest thing any Israelite can do. They attacked Moses, they nagged, they complained, and these dumbasses built an idol pagan god. And guess what, y'all? That's exactly what these crazy psychopathic Israelites are doing today. They are messing it all up for themselves. God is trying to get his people to the land of promise. And on top of that, God is trying to bless them so they can make it out. And these fools are messing it up for themselves, just like the Israelites did in the Bible. God was trying to help them make it out. Remember, they don't got to stress no more. They don't got to worry no more. They don't got to go through hell anymore. They don't got to go through this. They don't got to go through that. And God was trying to help them make it out, but they messed it up for themselves. Okay? And that's exactly, and hear, and, and hear me clearly, that's exactly what people are doing today. So hear me clearly when I say this. God wants to bless you to whereas he wants you to make it out of the walk with God. Because the walk with God, y'all, is it's not peaches and cream. It's real. You got to deal with temptation. You got to deal with Satan. You got to deal with demons. You got to deal with all kinds of stuff, man. And God wants to bless you so you can make it out of the walk with God. Okay, because remember, this is what he promised to the Israelites in the Bible. And he promised this to Moses and them. And here it is. God was trying to help them make it out, but they messed it up themselves. Just like you folks are doing today. God is trying to help you make it out, but you are messing it up yourself. That's the truth, man. I got more for you. Let's look at a brother like Joseph. In the Bible, Joseph made it out. Jo J Joseph made it out. Yes, he did. Joseph made it out. Let me give you the lowdown on Joseph right quick because Joseph was one of the brothers to where he made it out, to where Joseph didn't have to go through anything, never again in his life, period. He made it out to walk with God. He made it out. He made it out. Remember, Joseph's brothers was jealous of him. They sold him to slavery. Joseph ended up working in the palace for Potiphar. And right after that, Joseph paid his dues. He was loyal to Potiphar and everything. He went through all of the craziness. Remember, Potiphar's wife lied on Joseph and said that Joseph was trying to have sex with her. And on top of that, they threw Joseph in prison. They threw Joseph in prison for many years. Watch this. Joseph still stayed faithful and he still stayed loyal. And guess what? When he got out of prison, they let Joseph run the palace. They let him run the kingdom. And after that, it was over. Joseph didn't have to worry about going through nothing else. Never again. He made it out. He made it out. Do you hear what I'm saying, folks? Joseph made it out. He made it out. Joseph made it out. Joshua made it out because Joshua went into the promised land. Joshua made it out. Joseph made it out. A lot of those other Israelites, they didn't make it out. God killed them. They died. But Joseph made it out. Joshua also made it out. Remember, Joseph ran the whole palace and he never had to go through anything else again. He didn't have to worry about Satan. He didn't have to worry about people hating on him. He didn't have to worry about going through it for God. He didn't have to worry about stressing. He didn't have to worry about problems and all of this stuff. Joseph made it out, man. 
he made it out the walk with God. You got to understand this kind of message. They're not going to tell you this in religion of Christianity because they don't want you people making it out. They want you people to keep going through hell for the rest of your freaking lives, man. But Jesus Christ is using me to tell you that Jesus wants you to make it out. Of the walk with God. Because the walk with God is not a game. It's a real walk. And you can make it out the walk with God. Hear me clearly. I'm not talking about to where you don't have God no more. No. You're still going to have God in your life. You're still going to have a relationship with God in your life. But you won't have to go through anything else again. And it can happen. But you got to believe. You got to believe the stories. You have to believe. Okay. I'm going to give you another brother who made it out. Oh yes, they all in the Bible. Another brother who made it out. You want to know who else made it out? Job. Job made it out. Job made it out. Now y'all, you all know the story of Job. We all know Job's story. Job got one of the most scariest stories in the Bible. Job's story is so terrifying, man. I don't even want to go through that stuff. Here we go. Satan and God is having a conversation about Job. God removes the hedge over Job's life and sends Satan to attack Job. Job loses his businesses. Job kids die. Job goes through all kind of stuff. This dude goes through it, man. This dude goes through one of the most serious tests in the Bible. Job goes through all of this stuff. Then, in the end, in the end of the book of Job, God blessed Job with more than what he had in the beginning. Job had more children. He had the most beautiful daughters in the land. Okay, because the Bible tells you that. It's in there in the book of Job, chapter 32. It tells you all of that. Job had more than what he had in the beginning. And watch this. Job never had to go through it again. Never. You don't read about Job being attacked anymore after that. You don't read about Satan coming after Job again. You want to know why? Because Job made it out. He made it out of the walk with God. Remember, Job was already walking with God. Remember, Job was, was faithful to God. He was already walking with God. And in the end, God gave him more than what he had in the beginning. And it was over. Job can live the rest of his days happy and in peace and in total joy. Job never had to go through any other attack from Satan again. He didn't have to want for nothing. He was totally blessed because Job made it out. And, and, and I'm telling y'all this, man, you can make it out to walk with God and still have God because you got to understand something. The walk with God is a dangerous road, man. It's a dangerous walk because you don't know how God going to test you. You don't know. You may think, you know, but you really don't know. A lot of people right now, y'all are being tested by having cancer. A lot of people right now are being tested by their children dying. A lot of people right now are being tested because their wife left them or their husband left them. A lot of people are being tested because their wife is in love with another woman. A lot of people are being tested because the husband is gay. A lot of people are being tested because their kids are on drugs. A lot of people are being tested because their kids in the streets, man. They got fast sons, fast daughters, psychopathic family members in the home. Okay? They're being tested. They're going through all kinds of stuff in their walks with God. And you can make it out this stuff, man. You can make it out of the walk in a journey with God. You got to understand that, man. You got to understand that. God never intended for us to go through this forever while we're on earth. Hear me clearly. I'm going to repeat that. God never intended for us to go through these things while we are here on earth. You want to know why? Because remember, he promised the Israelites the promised land. Joseph made it out. Job made it out. Okay? Daniel even made it out. Oh yes, Daniel made it out. Let me give you the lowdown on Daniel. Remember, Daniel went through it in a walk with God. This dude, Daniel, was having all kinds of dreams and visions. He's faithful to God. He's loyal to God. Daniel had haters on his back. These dudes reported Daniel to the king because they was trying to get Daniel sent down, man, off top. They lied on Daniel, said he up there doing this and that. Man, they straight was hating on Daniel. Here it is. They threw Daniel in a lion's den. That was Daniel's test. They threw Daniel in a lion's den. Daniel made it out of that alive with not a scratch on him because God was with him. Then after that, Daniel was promoted. He ran the whole kingdom. 
He ran the whole kingdom. He was promoted. Daniel never had to go through anything else crazy again. Daniel made it out. He made it out, man. He made it out. And see, this is what Christians don't tell you. Christian preachers don't tell you this. Even Israelites don't tell you this. I'm going to tell y'all something. Israelites will never show you this. And they will never tell you this. Because they want y'all to go through it forever. Forever, man. Seriously. All the Israelites do is preach those poverty doctrine messages, man. About the government and all of this stuff, man. And, 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 and talking about y'all up under all these curses and all this stuff. They don't tell you you can make it out all of that stuff. You can make it out to walk with God, man. You can make it out to walk with God and you can live the rest of your days peaceful, happy, and enjoy to where you ain't got to go through no more attacks of Satan, no more stress, no more worries. This is real, folks. This is not a game. I gave you folks Bible facts. You folks can't tell me I'm tripping or making this up because I showed it to you for yourself. The Israelites, here, here it is. Joshua and the remaining of the Israelites went to the promised land. They made it out. Job made it out in the book of Job chapter 32. He was blessed in the end. He made it out. That's right. Even Abraham made it out. That's right. Daniel made it out. Daniel was promoted and he ran the whole palace. Even Joseph made it out. You can make it out. Jesus don't want his followers going through the stressful journey forever. No, man. Because Jesus already knows you're only human. You got to understand that. You're only human. Remember, you're only human. You're only human. You may try to act like you are holy. You may even try to dress like you are holy. You may throw on your little suit and call yourself a pastor or a prophet or evangelist or a bishop. I don't care what you call yourself. You can call yourself a pagan Christian. You can call yourself a minister of the gospel. You can call yourself an Israelite. But guess what? You're still human at the end of the day. You're human. You're human. And you can't tell me that the walk with God is peaches and cream because it's not. I've been walking with God since I was 18 years old. And guess what? It, it wasn't a game. It was not a game. The walk with God is not peaches and cream. This stuff is real. You have to be strong to get through this journey with God. You have to be driven. You got to be motivated. This is not a game, man. Okay? Because Satan come at you with all kinds of stuff. And let me tell you, God wants you folks to make it out of the walk. You can make it out the walk. He wants you to make it out the walk. That's right, but you got to earn it and pay your dues for this stuff. You got to go through it. And see, I'm going to tell you all something. A lot of people give up before they make it out. A lot of people give up before they make it out the wall. They give up. They quit. They give up. They go back to being stupid. They go back to being evil. They go back to being psychopaths. They just quit. Some people just quit by jumping in marriages. They run it from their purpose. They give up too soon. They give up too soon. And see, the Israelites gave up too soon. That's why they built the golden calf. They built the golden calf because they had gave up waiting on Moses. You see what I'm saying? They built the golden calf because they gave up waiting on Moses to come down from Mount Sinai. Don't you see what I'm saying, man? And see, a lot of you folks, you already gave up. But you can make it out the walk with God, man. Just don't give up. That's, see, that's the hardest part right there. Don't give up. Imagine if Job would have gave up. Imagine if Joseph would have just said, I quit. Imagine if Daniel would have gave up. They wouldn't have never made it out. See what I'm saying? And Jesus told me personally. He said, Tiario, I want my people to make it out the walk with God. And I was like, wow. That's right. He said, I want my people to make it out the walk. I don't even want them going through no more attacks of Satan. I don't even want them going through anything else. I want them to live stress-free, peace, joy, happiness. Jesus told me personally to tell you he wants you to make it out to walk with God. He wants you to make it out. But you got to keep pressing until it's your time to make it out. You got to keep pressing. Don't quit. Don't give up. You got to keep pressing. If you quit and you give up, you ain't going to make it out. Because you gave up. That's right, folks. This is serious, man. This is real. Bible facts I gave you, man. So with all that being said, y'all, this is Tiario, and I had to just hit y'all with this prophetic message from heaven, man. This message come from the throne room. Jesus told me personally to tell you he want you to make it out the walk with God to where you can just sit back and chill and smile and live for the rest of your days, man. You ain't got to go through it no more. So with all that being said, y'all, this is Tiario, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.